Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well and um, happy Christmas. So we're playing Lake and um, yeah, at the end of the last episode, um, we just had this phone call, but I didn't want to take it because then, um, yeah, I'd have to go back and do the whole day again. Right. So, um, yeah, it's Christmas Day now and the phone's ringing and he's off work today. Weiss Residence, good morning. Hey, Dad. It's me. Hey there, Em. Merry Death Christmas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was hoping to hear one of your special holiday puns. Merry Christmas to you, too. I wish I was in P.O. right now. That makes two of us. And probably three, but Mom's at the motel. Guess I'm not the only one working today, then. Fine mess I got myself into, huh? Do you want my two cents, or shall I just listen? I reckon I already know what you're thinking, and you're probably right. I'll be okay, Dad. Work's progressing nicely, actually. And Tess is coming over later. She's also stuck here. We're going to try to cook up some semblance of a Christmas meal. Oh, that's good to hear, Em. But I'm glad the other Em will be in charge of my Christmas dinner. <laughs> Can't disagree there. Her lemon mashed potatoes alone blows all my cooking out of the water. Oh, that reminds me. I need to try to pry that secret recipe out of her. I'm going to call her at the motel right now. Thanks for talking, Dad. And Meredith Christmas. You got it, Em. Hang in there. Thanks. Love you. Oh, Mildred, you shouldn't have. We already have the most beautiful pair of Christmas sweaters in the world. And now we have two sweaters each. <laughs> you must have put so much work into them. Oh, please don't mention it, dearie. Knitting sweaters can be quite straining. But knowing how happy they make you always makes up for it. Well, we're so grateful. Right, Thomas? Oh, God, I've got to make a choice. <laughs> that was awkward, wasn't it? Um, I'd love to say that. They're beautiful. Thank you so much, Mildred. I especially like that our sweaters have the same pattern, so I don't have to look in the mirror to admire it. Oh, Thomas, that makes me so happy to hear. I can't wait to start working on new oh my designs. Goodness. I've also made sweaters for Frank and Jack and Robert and Bert, but they all said that wool gives them an allergic reaction. Isn't that a coincidence? Beth, I hope you aren't allergic to wool. You're not going to believe the coincidence, Mildred, but yes, I actually am. And it's such a shame. If only I, too, could celebrate Christmas wearing one of those beautiful sweaters. Anyway, uh, Emily, would you be a darling and pass me the peas, please? Peas? I, I don't... Oh, you mean the string beans. I suppose peas would have gone lovely with the meal as well, now that you mention it. Right, Thomas? I'm so confused. Um... <clears throat> It's all green to me. Oh, yes, of course. I meant the string beans. Of course, silly me. But let me get on with it. It's time for my presence now. And you may have already guessed that they're books. Mildred, why don't you open yours first? Well, I'm not really one for presents, but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> Let's see now. The cat's pajamas. I've never heard of it. But it has a nice title, I suppose. It's an encyclopedia about cats. A 
Whiskerpedia, if you will. Someone drew my attention to it, and I immediately thought of you. Aww, the Mad Cat Woman. Such a heartfelt gift, isn't it, Thomas? Maybe you can start knitting your cat some pajamas now. Well, they do like balls of yarn. Thank you, Beth. It was my pleasure, Mildred. And now for Emily's gift. Oh, why, thank you, Beth. I do always appreciate your taste in books, so I'm looking forward to The Countess and the Carpenter. Oh, would you look at that? Is this a romance novel? I've never really read one of those. Right in one guess, Emily. I hear the writer Summers here, so this book is locally sourced, so to speak. And, dare I say it, the prose is quite compelling in the romance department, if you catch my drift. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Beth, you are something else. Thank you. This will certainly get a nice spot on our bookcase. Ah, good to know the romance department is in our bookcase now, so I'll know where to find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to reading it already. Thank you so much, dear Beth. You're welcome, Emily. I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, Thomas, it's your turn now. Let's see... Crazy sports facts, too. Even more crazy sports facts. Oh boy, I love this stuff. I'm actually reading part one at the moment, so I can tuck into this straight after. Thanks, Beth. You're welcome, Thomas. And you're right, there's some fascinating tidbits in part one as well. Even if one no longer actively plays sports, it's at least fun to read about it, right? Hey now, kids playing basketball still regret it when they challenge the mailman for a game of horse. Well, there's no shame in admitting that you're not getting any younger, Thomas. In fact, none of us are exactly spring chickens anymore. Things like your arthritis can't magically be wished away by positive thinking. Oh, who's up for some blueberry pie? Speaking of blueberries, my bridge partner, Edna's niece, discovered this mole last week. Hold that thought, Mildred. I really need to take this. Hello? Hi there. Could you put me through to Meredith Weiss, please? That's her boss, isn't it? Uh, excuse me, who is this? Oh, it's Steve. Steve Mitchell, from work. Is Meredith there? Do you understand that people are celebrating Christmas right now? Christmas? Uh, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Ah, is it Christmas already? Gosh, I, I totally missed that. I've employed a couple of old nighters. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna splash some water on my face. Sorry again, Mr. Weiss. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Have a bath and fall asleep in it, mate. <clears throat> Everything okay, honey? Uh, that silly boss from Meredith's work called for some reason or other. Uh, never mind. Beth, you were saying? Uh, I wasn't, actually. But I was looking for a way to say this, and now's as good a time as any, I suppose. She's pregnant. My dear friends. Oh. I am leaving Providence Oaks. <gasps> what? You're what? What's that, dear? Why? Well... Before we move on to the sad part, let me first tell you the good part. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be a grandmother. Oh, Beth, that is amazing. Well, I'll be. Whose mother? I, I mean, <laughs> congratulations. Yes, my son Daniel and his wife are expecting. Isn't that wonderful? But... And here's the proverbial kicker. You may remember that they moved to Savannah, Georgia a few years ago. 
So, if you put two and two together... They're having quadruplets? <laughs> I'm joking, of course. That's great, Beth. I'm so happy for you. That is marvelous, Beth. Congratulations. I wish you and your family all the happiness in the world. But I'll miss you something terrible. We all will. But we have to toast to the good news. Thomas, go pour us some brandy and I'll get the pie. Oh, Thomas, would you have any antacid? That eggnog is starting to stir up something indiscreet. On it. Now, let's celebrate this wonderful evening, ladies. Here's to a lovely old Christmas spent with good friends. Here, 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 here. here. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Did you see the game last night? Morning, Frank. Uh, nope. We had our Christmas dinner. Okay, so... Oh, it's broken it, isn't it? Um, so we'll do this bit of dialogue, and then um, we'll end it there. What happened? The Celtics were up by 25 in the third quarter, but they still lost the game in <laughs> double overtime. Mm, so was it a big payday for you? <laughs> One of the biggest of the year. And now the odds are dropping for Boston. I'm going to bet on them to win it all this season. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Frank. <laughs> Thomas, we'll see. Have a good one today. Okay, so, um, yeah, I am going to end it here. So I didn't realise it was only going to be, what, 12 minutes. Um, but I'd like to, um, yeah, carry it on so that it matches up to the day. So I really do hope that anyone who's watching this on Christmas Day is having an absolutely fantastic one. And anyone that watches it after, obviously, hope you had a brilliant one too. So thanks for watching, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. Happy Christmas again. And fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next one. So, cheers everyone and bye for now.